Hi, thanks for watching and welcome back to Red Maple Ranch. Today we are going to be identifying and removing some hemlock from the property. So this is um, water hemlock. It is really dangerous. Um, you can uh, get welts from skin contact. If you accidentally ingest it, it can kill you. Um, so we're going to be working on trying to pull it out completely or at least uh, get the tops off, bag it up and remove it. Um, it's commonly confused with yarrow or Queen Anne's lace, um, but we'll show you a close up. You can tell that this is um, water hemlock because it has a purple spotted uh, stalk to it. So um, if you could see here on the stalk, there's a lot of purple um, and it does have a white flower at the top. Um, and you can see I'm five foot tall and this is towering over me here. So our plan is to cut off partial, um, bag it up, and then try to pull out the tap root. It does take about five years to fully eradicate a plant like this, um, and this is year three for us. So it is lessening in volume here, but um, we are still working on it. So we have about two more years of eradication till we're fully, hopefully, eradicated. Okay, yeah, before we get started, we're going to make sure we're always wearing long sleeve shirts, gloves, um, a mask, because you really don't want to have any of this on your skin. Um, definitely, it's important to watch for farms, because this wasn't on the farm at all, but most of the time when we have a gas well come in like this, where they just put this gas well in in the last five to seven years, uh, a lot of the times the excavating crew might have a little bit of seeds left on their tracks from a different job. and most likely that's where this stuff spreads and once it gets onto the property it's very hard to manage so definitely trying to take care of it now while we can and while it's a manageable amount so we're going to get these cut off and bagged up in the garbage and hopefully less next year so i'm gonna um hopefully chop it here midway you can see it's kind of an open stock um really reedy kind of plant um let me grab this. You can see a complete hollow inside. Um, so I'm going to just break it in half and try to put it in the bag. And John will hopefully rip it out. Hopefully. We'll do our best to try to rip out as many roots as we can. And now I'll just do that about 30 more times. finished not the easiest job definitely not fun but something necessary because if we're ever gonna have this be a hay field you really can't have any of that hemlock in your hay bales and it's better to get rid of it now as we're trying to develop these hay fields and later on once we're bailing it and finding it in the hay bales so really came out nice Whew, a lot of hard work we're tired but that'll be it for this year and next year we'll do the same thing and just try to keep up with it until it's gone for good. And once you can get it out of the area completely, then hopefully you don't have to worry about it anymore. All right, well, thanks for watching and we'll see how it goes next year whenever we do it again. Thanks.